Let's look at the Passover that most of us call the uh -huh. Last Supper. Right. Da Vinci. Leonardo, yeah. Leonardo da Vinci. Right. Well, what do you think about this uh, pick there, Doc? Doug? Well, you know, it's, uh, it's not quite the same table as what we're sitting at right now, isn't it? No, no. This is called the Triclinium. And under Roman occupation, uh, Jesus and his disciples probably would have celebrated what we call the Last Supper at a table a little bit lower than the artist did here. Hmm. You notice any other differences? Come on. Take a look at those round loaves on the table. What do you see there? Uh -huh. they, don't, they don't look like these as much. No, 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 no. This is unleavened bread. And Leonardo da Vinci, I think, put some yeast in the bread. Yeah. And you don't do that. Some nice past. baguettes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there are some marked yeah. differences. Also the seating order. We're not making pizza, Leo. We're not making pizza right, tonight. Right. <laughs> He's we, Italian. We, we, we want to talk about the seating order, and, and, and let's do that right now. First of all, yeah. uh, I want to ask the question, where, where do you think Jesus would have reclined at this triclinium, at this U-shaped table? May, may, maybe right there? Uh, is, that where you, is that where you all think? Right there? We've been to too many weddings. Yes, the bride and groom are also there, but we're not, this isn't the wedding. This is a Passover Seder. And in the, under Roman occupation, what was important was that the host would actually be the second person in. Actually, Heim, I don't want you to get a complex, okay? But you are a Jew, okay? Uh, Jesus would have been the second in. That's where the- wow. That's where the host actually reclines. Uh, and then you would give honor to right. somebody on your right and somebody on your left over here. And then honor would continue around the table. Amen. So I want to uh, hopefully determine who did Jesus honor on this night? Hmm. Who, who, were the, who was on the right and the left uh, of him that night? Because you see, honor, as I say, goes right around the table. And then the least at the table would be right here where the servant would, would be. And it's the servant's job to do what? To serve. To serve, yes. To wash. To, to wash, wash the with the water. Wash the, and what did Jesus do? Yes. And I noticed that he, we in Israel, we wash religiously our hands. That's not a bad thing. And, uh, but I know that he would have done that as a tradition uh, that is done always even before Shabbat dinner, but even especially on the night of Passover. And wouldn't you all agree that we're probably all washing our hands probably more than we ever have in our entire lives. It doesn't matter where we're living. Uh, washing is an important part. Uh, I want to say that, so this is where our servant would be, but let's, let's remember one of the gospel lessons. Jesus said that when you come to the table, where should which seating should you take? You take the lowest spot. Take the lowest spot, the least spot. So this would be the place. So my question now, who were the two disciples that Jesus chose to go prepare for this remarkable Passover Seder, what we call the Last Supper? It was a bit of a treasure hunt, wasn't it? Looking yes. Looking for a, a man, with, a mysterious man with a water jug. Isn't it usually a woman that would carry Yeah this water jug. Indeed. You yeah, know why? Why? Th th this is a remarkable question because they believe that Jesus probably was asking them to go to a holy place to prepare the Passover because in those days it would only be the man or the priest that can go to the uh, uh, to a holy place so they couldn't ask the women to go to a holy place when they would be normally the ones to carry the water this time it would only be the priests. So that was a huge clue. So, who were those two disciples though? I haven't heard their names yet. Maybe you know, oh, I heard, I heard a John. Another name? Peter. Did you hear Peter? John and Peter, that's what the gospels teach us. It was John and Peter that came to the table. Okay, so if John and Peter came to the table, did they go and sit at the least places? They were the first in the room. Hmm. If they were listening to Yeshua, they may not have done what they would normally have done. Well, let's try and find out. 
Now, <clears throat> let's try to see, is there any clue in the Bible that would help us to better understand who was reclining here? I think one way we can determine this is we have to know how they ate at this table. First of all, which hand did they eat with? They, by the way, they didn't have color. Right. They ate with their hands, okay? The one thing I really love about learning about Jesus, and as a little boy, to learn that Jesus ate with his hands, ate with his elbows on the table, and ate reclining, I could never get away with that. Mom, wherever you are tonight, I want you to know, Jesus put his elbow on the table. God bless you, Mom. Okay, so the reality is this, okay? You're reclining absolutely perfect. If yes. you were here and you were reclining and you wanted to talk to somebody next to you, what would you do? I'd have to lean back mm. and have a discussion. Mm -hmm. And yes, where would. would your head be? Oh, I would love to have this discussion with what? time. Just what? like this. Yes, but, but would you not all agree it was John's head that was on Jesus' bosom? So if we know the host sits the second, reclines the second in, we would have to believe that the beloved John was the most honored this night at this table. Mm. Are you with me? I love this guy. Yes. Wow. So, I love it. if John did go to the least spot, he was called up. Right. Wow. So, so John may have actually sat at the servant's area, but then would have traversed, crossed over to this side, well, to a place of honor, maybe at the, at the beckoning of Yeshua. Well, who do you think was honored here? Who do we think? Some would say Peter. Okay. Hmm. However, if it's Peter, Peter asked an important question at that meal. Right. And he asked it to who? It's a bit of a dipping question. It was a, he dipped into... No, 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 no. That was the answer. Oh. The question was, first of all, Jesus said something amazing. He said that tonight something's going to happen. That's right. Go ahead. Give us the... Tonight, one of you Galileans uh, will betray me. Hmm. And what did we all say? We went, not I. Me? Not I. No. No, 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 no. No. However, John, or pardon me, Peter, was a little bit inquisitive. Hmm. And he asked John the question. So he's John. Where is Peter he sitting? He knew John was next to Jesus. Probably the right person to ask. If it was any one of us being Peter, we'd have to be speaking over Jesus. In fact, if, if this was Peter, I'd have to go, excuse me, Jesus. Mm -hmm. John, would you ask Jesus to find out who is going to betray him tonight? Sure will. So he's probably not here. Hmm. However, maybe there's another clue. Maybe he leaned. Is it possible? Alyssa, do you think you know where? Yeah. Where? Oh, come on, show us. Show us. Wow. She's got it. <laughs> so Alyssa is coming into Pete. No, pretend you're reclining. Left elbow on the table. Looking around. Well, now try this. Try this. You take your hand and you go, let's ask the big question. Psst. John. John. <laughs> ask Jesus. Ask Jesus. Doesn't this look like John was probably here? Peter. Now, Peter was there. John is here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the correction. This is Peter. This is John. This is Jesus. Who was this one? Might be someone uh, who has within. What was the answer? Arms reach. Uh, it was he who dips with me in the bowl. Wow. Could have been hummus. Hummus. If, if this table was set right now, I would dip. John, we would both be dipping in the same. Not a lot of dipping going on this Passover, is there? Indeed. Well, you know, Dean, people don't even realize about that communion began here on Passover. People don't really realize that the table was a triclinium table. People don't connect what's going on with communion with Passover. They don't understand that God's preparing us as unleavened people. This was uh, a lamb remove. meal. They don't know about the dipping, so that's why they can't connect that I, that Yeshua, would have, could have even given honor to the lowest of undeserving of honor. Well, we have to ask this question. If I'm Jewish right now, does that sound gospel? Does that sound gospel that Jesus would actually honor not only his most beloved, hmm. but that he would choose to honor the one that he would already have known was going to betray him that night? It would be considered his enemy. Hmm. Demonstrating what he had been teaching from the beginning about loving your enemies. Wow. Hmm. And on this enemies? night, and demonstrating. He would demonstrate the gospel by living through it. 
Wow. This is why I, I so love to, I, I love to, to do the Passover Seder like Jewish people do around the world. But for us who are Christians, I love to encourage you to try to do it the way Jesus did it. As a Jew, 